Hi guys, Lee Cole here. Before you do anything, look below if you're on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel, also hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever we upload an, yet another of our really cool videos. There is more how-to information, how to sell to local businesses, how to do video marketing, all kinds of cool stuff. There is more how-to information on this channel for free than there is in 99% of the products that you paid money for that are currently collecting cyber dust on your hard drive. Today's video, I want to talk to you about how to make a professional LinkedIn profile. Your profile is so incredibly important, but let's back up a little bit so that you can understand where I'm coming from. You know, basically, I think there are really three reasons why people are on LinkedIn. Number one, people are on LinkedIn because uh, they're employees, they're looking for a better career, they're looking to network with, you know, uh, people parallel to them and other businesses, that kind of thing. So it's from an employee point of view. The second reason is people are entrepreneurs like me. And they're building their network, they're networking with uh, potential investors, with allied companies, just networking with like-minded business professionals. And then three, which also includes me, they're on LinkedIn because they want to sell stuff. Whether that's selling stuff for the company they work for, whether they're freelancers selling stuff, their own products, uh, freelance writers, freelance graphic artists, freelance video marketers, or whether they are, um, you know, run, running a business themselves that sells stuff, right? Because you can sell anything on LinkedIn. I mean, you can sell anything, digital products, airplanes, automobiles, t-shirts, anything you can sell on LinkedIn. Now, I am talking to you from the point of view of the entrepreneur salesperson. I am not talking to you from the point of view of the person who needs a job. I haven't had a job in a really long time, and I don't plan on ever having one again. I have been self-employed for quite a while. So I am. this video is from the point of view of the entrepreneur, the freelancer, the salesperson. So we're going to talk about, from that point of view, what it takes to have a really professional LinkedIn profile. Well, we're on LinkedIn right here, okay? And we're currently on my... Uh, you know, my profile page. And number one, let's define profile. Well, profile is everything that you're seeing here, right? You know, so for me, if you go to linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash Lee Cole online, if you go there, then you'll see my profile. If for you, it will be, you know, some other URL after the forward slash IN forward slash. You'll have something else out there. So, but there's some things here that you can control a lot of. And those are the things that I really, really, really want to talk to you about. Number one, a nice banner. You can use the LinkedIn default banner. You, you really need something that brands you, especially if you run a business. If you're a salesperson working for another business, then yeah, you're going to probably have to have, you're going to probably have to run what the banner looks like by your boss to make sure that that's coordinate with the branding of the company you work for. But if you're self-employed, uh, it's good to go, right? So you need a banner that brands you. You need a picture that shows you in the light that people expect to see you. So if you're running a $50 million a year business, uh, unless it's a tech business, something like that, you know, you, you, you really need to look good. All right. You, you need the haircut. You need to shave, which is something I don't do that often because I don't run a business like that. All right. You, you need the appropriate clothes and the appropriate backdrop. Because, I mean, think about what you're doing. You're, you're networking with other people. Uh, parallel to you, you're networking potentially with uh, investors who might be interested in investing millions of dollars into your business. So you want to look the part. And there's nothing fake about this. I mean, you just want to look like, this is just standard branding and advertising. You want to look like what your audience expects you to look like. 
I run a small business, Easy Profit Software, and what we do is we create software that freelancers, um, um, authorpreneurs, and people like that use. And so my background, my face, my general lack of shaving, and, and if you could see the rest of the picture here, it would be my blue t-shirt. That's coordinate with the people that buy from me because they are interested in running a business from a laptop. They are, they've been in corporate America. They don't want that anymore, right? So I look like the people that buy from me. And quite frankly, for my business, people that buy from me are about my age too. Not that you can do anything about your age. The next thing that's super important is your connections. Now, we've got another video in this playlist all about connections, so you want to take a look at that. But you absolutely want your connections to be bigger than 500. So I've got uh, six and a half, a little over six and a half thousand direct connections, yet it says 500 there. If I had 498 connections, it would say 498. So no matter how many connections you have, if it's 500 or more, it's going to say 500 plus. So you're just going to look kind of stupid if you've got 97 connections. You're, you're just not going to look like a player. So find, go, go look at the playlist that this video comes from and find the video about connecting. And I will show you how to get up to 1,000, 2,000 connections, legitimate connections very rapidly. You also want to fill out everything. LinkedIn is really, really good. We're, we're going to get to the profile summary last here. But you want to fill out everything. You know, where you went to school, what your job history is, all that stuff, uh, your work experience. And again, LinkedIn is very, very good about prompting you for this. So you basically just want to you know, fill out what they tell you to fill out until they say that you've reached an all-star rating. So don't skimp on that. I see a lot of profiles where people are skimping on that. That's not a good idea. Fill it out until you've achieved that all-star rating. And that's pretty easy. I mean, everybody knows what they did in the past. So uh, find it out and put it there. Every now and then somebody asks me, well, Lee, you know, what if I haven't been in the same industry that my profile is about? Like, like you were in another industry and you just started a business and you really want to sell stuff on LinkedIn. So your profile is reflecting the fact that you're in this new business. Well, that's fine. I mean, we all have a work history. I mean, look at those. Look, I mean, I used to be a mathematics teacher and here I am an entrepreneur. So uh, that's fine. I mean, everybody has to go through... You were not born, no, no, nobody was born doing what they do. Not even Elon Musk was born being like a mega entrepreneur. He was just a little, he was a baby when he was born. So everybody's got their path, their trajectory, and it's totally cool for you to have that. And if you're starting a new business, that's fine. I mean, you don't have to totally, I mean, you would never, you would never um, hide that fact. But you don't have to put up a big banner that says, hey, I'm totally new and I've never sold anything before. OK, but you can actually I mean, you can actually have whatever your last job is or your current job. I mean, everybody who starts, a, most everybody who starts a business, huge. I mean, if you're starting a small business that's, you know, like a laptop business, uh, authorpreneur business, solopreneur business, uh, kind of businesses that uh, kind of business people that I sell to. Um, if you're starting a business like that, then either you've got some money in the bank or you're living out of your van or and, and working at Starbucks or you've got a job and you're having to start the business in your spare time. And there's nothing wrong with that. As a matter of fact, uh, people will look up to that. They, they will think that you're really cool for doing that. So please tell the truth and, you know, don't feel like you have to already be what you are becoming in order to become that thing, if that sentence makes any sense at all. I hope it does. And then we get to the all-important profile summary. Now, 
this part of your profile. Hang on, somebody's calling me. Tell them just to hold on just a second so I can talk to you. This part of your profile, your profile, the title, the profile summary, this stuff. That's what I call your silent salesperson or your silent sales letter on LinkedIn. Because what happens? I, right before I made this video, I had about 32 invites to my network. Uh, people, people asking me if I would accept their connection request. And I was just going through there, taking a look at who those people were. Now, I accept everybody who, virtually everybody who reaches out to me. Most people, and most people kind of do that, but most people are really curious. I mean, like, like if you reach out, you're building your network. You reach out to someone. Um, let, let's say, I'm, I'm not going to walk you through this because that's actually, again, it's in another video, but let's say that I was reaching out to a new person. And uh, then, you know, once I hit that connection request, they would have a little red number that appears here. And they would have a list of the people that reached out to them, including me. And they might wonder, who is that guy? What's that all about? I don't know that person. I, I would like to know more about them. And so what are they going to do? They're going to click on my name and they're going to end up here. And so your profile, especially the top part of your profile, I mean, nobody really cares where you went to high school, but your profile, the top part of your profile, your picture, all of that branding, especially including the profile summary, which we're going to get into last, that has to sell you. It has to present you in a way that makes sense for you to be presented. So that's why I say it's like your silent sales letter. Because a lot of people, you message someone, you reach out to someone new, uh, people search and they find you. Everybody's going to look at your profile in order to figure out who you are. I mean, look at this. In the past, I, I, I don't know. Look, by the way, all-star rating, that's what you want to see there. But uh, I've got 192 people recently who've checked out my profile. Who is this leak old guy? What, what is this all about, right? So that's why you want to really think about your profile. And, and to, make your, to make a professional LinkedIn profile, you have to understand who your market is. Who, I mean, it's just like writing a sales letter. You've got to understand who is going to buy what you're selling. Who's, who's the market? What do they want? What information do you need to give them? That's what you got to think about. And how can you package that up? That's called branding. So that they can look at your profile and profile summary and say, yeah, man, I, I understand that person. I understand their business. I want to be connected with them, right? Now, the profile summary, if, if the profile, if this top part of the profile is your silent sales letter, the profile summary is the copy. In other words, the written part on the sales letter. It's, you know, and a lot of people will read this. And I know that for a fact because, A, I look at other people's profiles and I read their profile summaries to figure out who they are. And most of those profile summaries are pretty bad. Um, but I've got a lot of people who reach out to me who will mention stuff in my profile summary here and ask me about it. So I know people read it. Now, this is how I write profile summaries. You write yours however you want to. I'm just going to walk you. I'm not going to sit here and read you the whole thing, but I'm just going to walk you through a couple of very important things or things that I think are important. Number one, I love starting out with a question. Well, that wasn't that. <laughs> I love starting out with a question because a question positions. You know, you ask someone a question. So how long have you been trying to make money online and how well is that working for you? Because I sell to that world. I sell software and training products to that world. And so if someone's not in that world, doesn't care about that, they really don't need to know about me. That's very much like the headline on a sales letter. And then notice... Real, really quick, I position myself. I tell them who I am. And I want you to especially notice this part. This profile summary is written in first person. I. You talk about you. I. I did this. I did that. This is what I do. This is what my business is. You don't talk about you in the third person. Uh, Lee Cole is a blah, 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 blah. Lee Cole's business, blah, 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 blah. You don't do that. That's weird. It is and it doesn't create the emotional connection that you want to create, okay? Again, this is like a sales letter. 
I give people a little bit of my backstory. Not enough to bore them, but just a little about how I got here. So that, uh, again, I'm, I'm, LinkedIn is like a giant Chamber of Commerce meeting. And your goal is to not just increase the number of people that you're connected to. Your ultimate goal is to build relationships with those people. Well, to build a relationship with someone, it really helps to know a little bit about their history, right? And bullet points about our products. And so what would you do? Bullet points about what you're selling. Bullet points about what you want to sell. And uh, then we have a little call to action right here. Look, if you're interested in learning more, my contact information is below. Reach out to me and let's connect. I get a lot of people reaching out to me. As a matter of fact, I cleared out my incoming invitations yesterday and then I logged on today and I have 32 more. So you will get people reaching out to you. You can go read my profile summary and you use this as a guide. Again, I'm at Lee Cole Online slash in slash in slash Lee Cole Online. Did I say Lee Cole Online? LinkedIn.com forward slash IN forward slash Lee Cole Online. That's where I am. Go read that. And by the way, while you're there, reach out to me. Send me a connect request. I'd love to be connected with you. That, my friend, is how you create a professional LinkedIn profile for someone who's either an entrepreneur, business person, salesperson, solopreneur, all of those types of people who are trying in general to either network or sell stuff through LinkedIn. Now, if you're looking for a job, I can't help you. All right. I mean, God bless you. I can't help you. I haven't had a job in quite a while. And that's just not my deal. If you're looking for a job, you probably need someone else to talk to you about what to do with your profile summary. But if you are an entrepreneurial type person, speaker, author, business owner, solopreneur, all of the, that whole constellation of things, this is how you need to do it. Cool beans. Thank you so much. Make sure you subscribe to, um, make sure you subscribe to the video. Also, I've got some cool LinkedIn training that you can get for free. There will have been notifications uh, every now and then during this video, which you can click on and they will lead you to a place where you can uh, get some, some real more in-depth LinkedIn training for free. It's video training. And um, cool. Thank you so much. Great to talk with you. Talk to you very soon.